Hello there, and today we're going to have a look at the Super Retrocade by Retrobit. And as you can see, it's a tiny little box, and it comes with a whole load of games, a whole load of retro games. So I get quite the nostalgia buzz when it comes to retro games. It brings back all those memories from when I was a kid in the arcade. And there's a whole load of arcade games on the retro bit. And there's the box there, as you can see. So we've got the Super Retrocade, the ultimate home arcade, as it says here, by Retrobit, packed with over 90 games. So you've got a whole load of arcade games, plus some NES games and some SNES games, or SNES. I call it SNES. I used to have a SNES as well, by the way, so we've got double the nostalgia value in my head. So if you had an NES, you will have triple the nostalgia value. So some of the games include Final Fight, Mega Man 2, Burger Time, Double Dragon, loads more. So you've got Capcom games, Data East games, IREM games, and Technos games. I used to love the old uh, Capcom, Data East, and IREM games. So a whole load of other games, arcade games. We've got 1942, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, Ghosts and Goblins, Double Dragon, Bionic Commando. So that's some of the arcade games we've got on here. This is the UK version, so it may differ from the US version. High resolution 7020p graphics on HDMI. Two classic wired controllers included. So there's one of the controllers. They're wired with a whole load of lead. So you can obviously be quite far away from your little console and enjoy the gaming experience. I bought this mainly for the arcade games because I used to love arcade games, although they were very difficult. That's my only complaint about them. Too difficult. Of course, that was a mechanism to get people to spend more money. I think I said already, one of my favourites was Ghosts and Goblins, but I'm absolutely rubbish at that game. But it's great to have a look at that. Commando, that was a great game. Sidearms, I loved that game. I used to go into an arcade in Shepton Mallet in Somerset, United Kingdom with a friend years ago and we used to play that and uh, spend a lot of time on them. I used to love that game. Great graphics at the time. 1942 of course a classic and 1943. I think I had either 1942 or 1943 on the ZX Spectrum. I don't know if the ZX Spectrum was uh, very popular in the US but any US viewers let us know if it was and if you had any experience with it or actually owned one as well. So I had one, great fun. 48k Spectrum with the rubber keys. So of course the computers back in the day used to try and replicate the uh, arcade games in the best way that the computer system could handle at the time. Double Dragon, that was always a popular game. R-Type of course, and R-Type 2. Fantastic game. I've actually played that more recently than I did back in the day. I didn't play it very much back in the day, but great game. And there's also an R-Type 3, which is the SNES version or SNES which is a great game. So there's some console favourites here as well. So we've got Super R-Type, R-Type 3, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. So there's a couple of, uh, there's some duplicates from the arcade games also. Bionic Commando, Buggy Popper, Burger Time, Final Fight 2, Final Fight 3, Mega Man, and a whole load of other NES and SNES games. Quite a nice stylish box. So back to the console, so we've got the two controller ports there, on and off switch. Around the back, we've got AV output, we've got the HDMI output, power adapter, and an SD card slot. So if you're so inclined, you can download ROMs from the internet, stick your SD card in the back, and uh, play those ROMs via the Retrocade also, which is great. The only thing with the UK version is, with the ROMs, you can only play NES and SNES games. There, you It doesn't handle the arcade games, which is unfortunate, but uh, apparently the US version does play arcade ROMs. So playing games via the SD card in the Retrocade, perhaps we'll cover that in another video, but there's lots of videos on YouTube telling you how to do that. So I guess this is kind of similar to a Raspberry Pi sort of thing, just a posh version. And for lazy people, perhaps like me, that can't be bothered to uh, get a Raspberry Pi and download the games and set the Raspberry Pi up to uh, 
act as a games emulator. Also, I mean, you can you can download emulators onto your PC or your computer to play the arcade ROMs via your PC. So you don't actually have to buy one of these. This is probably for the lazy person and perhaps a person that doesn't know how to run their emulators and get ROMs and get those working on the computer. I mean, there's lots of software that you can use. Uh, for instance, RetroArc, which is great. RetroArc or RetroArch, I don't know how you pronounce that. But uh, I got RetroArch on my computer and it's uh, fantastic. And you can play all kinds of um, games, console games, arcade games. And RetroArch utilizes all kinds of emulators which you can install into RetroArch and download from RetroArch. Anyway, that's for another day. So check current prices on Amazon and in the UK, this is around 60 quid. I bought this for £62.98 and that was earlier this year, January 2021. So I checked Amazon today and the US version is around $79.99. So at the moment it's March 2021. Let's uh, have a go at this, let's get this going. So plug in the controllers, plug in the power supply, plug it into the TV and have a look. Right, so let's have a look at a few of these games. Let's start off with 1984. 1984? 1942 even. Start game. A bit of volume. 1984. There are, that's weird, isn't it? 1942 was made in 1984. But 1984 was written in 1948. Let's not get confused here. Right, insert coin. So you press the select button there to do that. Just press that a few times. And start button to start. So here we go. Oh yeah, 942 has got the little swivel rollover or whatever you call it. So there we are, there's the arcade classic, 942. I don't last very long on this game. That's the trouble with video games, I'm just rubbish at them. Or some of them, most of them. I used to like Golden Axe. Or Golden Axe 2, I think it was. That was the only game that I could uh, sustain any time on. But Golden Axe isn't on this um, system, unfortunately. But like I say, if you put the US version, you can download games ROMs. They're called ROMs, arcade ROMs onto a memory card. And you can download any game you want, basically, and play it through the US version of this system. And of course, if you want to get into uh, Raspberry Pi and install RetroPie into the Raspberry Pi, you can do the same, but you can use your PC as well, as I've already said. Download RetroArch or RetroArch, and uh, you've got access to loads of emulators. Anyway, I'm waffling on. Let's have a look at some more. Super Retro K. Okay. So you press these two buttons here to go back to the main menu. Return to main menu. There we are. Right, 943. Start game. And here we go. There's a load of these 1940s games. 1941. Sorry, 1942. Is there a 1941? I'm not sure. Anyway, 1942, 1943, 44, and I think they get better as they progress. Anyway, here we go. Let's have a look at this again. Start game. In this one, you get special weapons instead of the uh, rollover. Just wasted one by accident because I got the buttons mixed up. Oh, just missed that weapon. What that beacon is, does that mean I'm going to die? Yeah, 
go. Power thing to Jake. Power. Arr! Right, let's go back to another game. Let's, have a, let's check out Sidearms. That was one of my favourites back in the day. Lots of fond memories of that. Sidearms. Let's go. Oh. There's the coins in. I used to love this game back in the day. I don't know what I mean. Try and at least get to uh, end of level boss, shall we? And this is a good thing about this, you don't have to keep pumping in real money. Just press the select button to put the coins in so you can continue your games. On the arcade games, of course. Of course, with the pads, you've got the pad, not joystick. Right? The arcade back in the day, but then a joystick on the cabinet. I love these type of shoot marks. No, I'm not very good at them, as you can see. I actually uh, downloaded um, R Type Dimensions on the Nintendo Switch where they've given this like, an up to date makeover, and it's fantastic. And you can have infinite lives as well, and like, an invincibility to so Have a look at the graphics on all of the, all of the levels. 
it's just a bad game. Grr. Story of my life. Game over. Look at R Type 2. I think R Type 2 is my favourite. Pretty much the same as R Type 1, with just like spruced up characters. If you are unfamiliar with the game R Type, of course. R Type was a very popular game in the day. I think it's very popular now as well. Probably amongst old farts like myself. SNES version of R Type 3. Start the game. Of course, the NES games are on there. Uh, I don't play those so much, so I'm not really keen on the NES. I, su I suppose uh, people that had one are going to get the nostalgia value from that. I think I only knew one person that had an NES, that was a friend from school. That's a long time ago. Core must be quite an old console though. Oh, I can't find it. Yeah, different fire button again. Pretty good version though. I remember when I had my SNES, a uh, lot of fun on it. I used to like, um, or love actually, um, Legend of Zelda. Great game. Well, sorry. Oh, Street Fighter. Street Fighter 2, wasn't it? Um, Star Fox. Had a few games at the time. Just over the weekend, I revisited Final Fantasy 7, which I had on the Sony PlayStation. And I downloaded it on the Nintendo Switch. I've just discovered they've remade Final Fantasy 7 for the PlayStation 4 and it looks fantastic and I want to get that but I haven't got a PlayStation 4. I used to love the Wipeout games as well so I think I would buy a PlayStation just for Wipeout and Final Fantasy 7. So I just got back into video games after years of not playing any. I sort of go through phases. I mean, I got a Nintendo Switch now, but the the last console I had before the Nintendo Switch was the original Xbox, I think. So that was that's 20 years ago. I played friends consoles, of course. One of my favourite games is Mario Kart on uh, the Switch, Mario Kart 8, and I used to love playing that on the Nintendo Wii. Right, let's have a look at some other games. Right, Ghosts and Goblins, I used to like that, but absolutely, I'm still rubbish at that game, I still can't get very far. We used to go swimming in the street, again in Somerset in the UK, and they had the Ghosts and Goblins arcade machine there, I used to play it. And uh, I still can't, I can only get so far, like, in the first, I can't get past the first level. And um, I still can't now. So I think I had to give up on them. I remember, like, I just loved the graphics. I, again, I love with my ZX Spectrum, I managed to get a copy of the game for the ZX Spectrum. Of course, the ZX Spectrum graphics were monochrome. 
a pretty good device in its time, but graphics, the graphics in the arcade, they were state of the art at the time. Nothing came anywhere close to the graphics that you would get on video games in the arcades, in the arcade games. Or on the arcade games. Right, insert coin. Start button. I think there's ghouls and ghosts in them, not ghosts and goblins. Yeah, it is. Ghouls and ghosts. Got the wrong one. Anyway, we'll have a look at ghouls and ghosts. And you'll see how rubbish I am at this as well. I could do it with the joystick here as well. This pad is very good. I'm naked now. Yeah, these controls aren't very suitable for some of the games, unless you're a bit nifty with a control pad. Probably me. I get the buttons mixed up, I think I've got dyslexia with um, computer game buttons. Computer power buttons. Vulture. Take a bit of getting used to the gamepad here. Not leaving very well. Unless my gamepad's not working so well, let's swap them over. Game over. Right, let's go back to where we were. Let's have a look at the actual ghosts and goblins. Here's ghosts and goblins, right, the original. Let's go. I think the other controller might want a dustbuster stuck through it. I think the pad was sticking, but then a bad game player always blames their game pads. A bad worksman always blames his tools. 1985 this game. That's my gameplay, by the way, not the game. They made it too hard, though, didn't they? Back in those days. Get some money. It's a shame, really, because I think they would have made more money if they just made them a little bit easier to start off with. Give us a bit of a chance to get going. See, look, there we are. And then you go all the way back to the start again. I should hate this game, really. I think I just love the concept of the game. Let's have a look at some others. Final fight, does anybody remember that in the arcade? I remember these games, I didn't spend much, too much time on them. I remember them being there. Right, come on, get on with it. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 
kind of get a little bit more value from money working your pay yeah. back in the day with these types of games. This you can actually get a game. You can see like the sort of pre-runner to the street fighting games. Yeah, of course these are strong games. Yeah, these are the state-of-the-art graphics. I love the, the style of these graphics though. Yeah. 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 That's final fight. Let's have a look at a couple more. We won't go through all 90 or 90 plus games here, we'll just pick a few out. What else we got? X Multiply. That's another shoot em up, isn't it? I mean, I haven't heard of all these games. What's that game there? Wizard Fire. Now, that was a good game. I remember this in the arcades. Data East. Nah, which one did I like being? Let's go for that. Oh, the wizard. Actually, I mean the wizard. Oh, the night now. I just love these graphics. I love them. There's obviously still a market for pixel graphics because I see games that are being released now that have pixels they are using pixels for graphics. Dead already. So as you see, you like got a nice little screen there that you can toggle through each game to see which game there is to play. Street Fighter 2010, that's a SNES thing, I think. And there goes that keen on that game. Renegade, that was an old arcade game. I remember that game. Forgotten Worlds, I think that was a good game. Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, that's another shoot em up, isn't it? Those noises, just sounds, they just take me right back to when these games came out. Seaside Piers and all that sort of thing. That's my memory, Seaside Piers and go to the seaside. And going on piers and the arcades and playing the games there. Right, I'm dead. I'm not a very good multitasker as you can probably tell talking and playing games at the same time. Commando, that was a great game in this day. Another arcade game. Just did one credit and I put a couple of credits in. You wanna... I got a cookie in 
this one as well. So you shoot and fire some hand grenades at the same time. The trouble, these, the trouble is with these old games, the trouble was, is you'd have to go all the way back to the beginning when you died. Or in a lot of the games, I think actually you've got to get so far on. Oh, they're actually on the command though. They are a little bit kind though. There are certain checkpoints. They're not marked as checkpoints as such though. They yeah, are game over. Why on a commander? I don't really remember playing that. I remember it being there. Air Jewel, let's have a look at that. There's another arcade game. I think this might be one of the better ones on this system. On the retro bit. Yeah, I like this game. So let's have a look at a SNES game. If you press the X button, you can choose genre, system there, of course. So let's check out some SNES games, what we got. I don't think I played any of these back in the day on the SNES. Let's have a look at Rocky Road. IREM game. Come on, then. the shoot, just jumping. A bit like a sort of Mario type of thing. Oops. Just talking gets on your nerves. Should we do something like that? Oh, 
cool hat go. Graphics are pretty good though. I like the graphics. Let's have a look at another showing. Magical drop. I figure this rings a bell. I expect this is familiar with a lot of others out there. 1995. This is an arcade game as well, wouldn't it? I don't think it looks like my type of game. Oh, right, yeah, I know what this is. I can't remember how to play it. Actually, I, don't th I thought you had to match things up. Ah, right, I've got it. Put that there. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. What's all this about? Nerves after a while. Funny me. Yes, another game where I get my ass kicked, which is pretty much all of them. Return to main menu. We'll have a look at an NES game, shall we? Just to show viewers what that's like. NES, where all we go. Let's see if there's something I recognise. I don't think that Street Fighter 2010's much good. Or I don't like it anyway, the least. Dark Lord, let's see what that's like. Nineteen ninety one. Oh. Oh, should have gone wizard. Oh. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. What's all this about? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I, how am I supposed to go to the next part? Oh. So, how do we start the game? This is. Shit. Right, I've had enough of that. Return to the main menu. What we got here? Image fine, let's try that. It's like a shoot em up, which will suit me.
Anyway, there we are. Return to main menu. Was that an actual... That was an NES game, was it? That is an NES game. That's really good graphics, that. That's quite, I'm quite impressed. That looks more like a sort of arcade game. Obviously, they had the capacity to do quite good games there. Anyway, I won't go through all of them. There's um, just a few to demonstrate. Of course, it comes with a manual. But it's relatively straightforward to get into. It tells you what's what. So, if you're unsure about downloading um, emulators onto your computer and you don't want the hassle of doing that, then the yeah, this Super Retrocade is um, highly recommended. It's got a good selection of games, and of course you can um, expand on your game library if you want to. And like I say, the um, UK version will only allow extra NES and SNES games, but the US version apparently will allow you to download arcade games, so they're like the main games. So I don't think there's anything more to add. Good bit of kit. Good bit of kit for the non-technically minded. So that might be me on a bad day. Or even me on a good day. But there are other options, of course, um, if you want to go through um, and spend some time on uh, learning how to download your emulators and uh, get things working on your emulators. But this is an easy plug in and play and away you go, no hassle. And if you're into all the games that are on the Retrocade, then you'll love this bit of kit. And if you're into the NES and the SNES as well, then you'll love this bit of kit even more. I'll leave a list of what games are on the Retrocade in the description below. And uh, if, you, if there's anybody else that wants to add anything, um, leave, leave the comments in the comments below as well, of course. And uh, that's about it for now. More videos to come soon. And um, thanks for watching. See you soon and over and out for now.